Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sov, and today I'm going to share with you guys three early game locations that you just absolutely must visit because they're most likely going to be filled with loot that's going to be very, very useful to you, especially early game. So let's jump in the first location. The first location is going to be in Sanctuary itself, pretty much right where you begin the game, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Start at the garage and look to your left. All you need to do is run straight to the house that is immediately to your left if you're facing the garage. Go around the back side of the house, and there's a root cellar. This is really easy to miss. I actually missed it quite a few times. I, I stumbled upon it completely by accident. And once you get down here, you'll find all kinds of good stuff. There's first aid. There's a ton of junk that you can uh, salvage for parts, materials that you can use to build. There is a lot of food stored in here, so you'll have plenty of food and other aid items. There is weapons, and there's also a good crackable safe that's got some decent loot in it, especially for something so early game. So I definitely recommend you come down here and check this out. Alright, so I'm trying to go in order of how close they are to your point of origins in the game. So we started in Sanctuary. Now we're going to the Red Rocket Truck Stop. This is not very far from Sanctuary, just a little bit to the southeast, and I'm sure you've probably run into it by now. But what you might have missed is just behind it, and I'm going to show you right here, there's actually a small cave. It's not marked on your map, but it's a little mole rat cave, and you can go into it, and I definitely recommend you do. Once you're inside the cave, there is a lot of brain fungus in here. I actually walked out with 30, so it's possible I missed a few. There may be even more than that, but minimum, there's 30 brain fungus in here. There's also plenty of glowing fungus and a bunch of other junk items that you can absolutely salvage for parts. Expect to find heavy mole rat resistance down here, but they're not too bad. Really, the worst part will be the glowing mole rat that you inevitably run into but there's still plenty of loot down here some weapons some ammunition healing items aid items of all varying types as well as a decent crackable safe and a fusion core that you can use for your power armor suit which is not very far from this point in the game so it's really useful now for the third and final location for this video, go to Concord. And once you get there, find the Museum of Freedom, turn straight behind you and go to the end of the street, you'll see the Municipal Plutonium Well. When you're in front of that building, all you need to do is drop into the hole that's in the middle of the street right here that you see me dropping into. There's nothing in this particular hole that's going to hurt you, so just go ahead and run straight to the door. It's the Concord Civic Access. Now this is actually a pretty large area. There's quite a bit to explore in here. There's a lot of enemies. You're going to find mole rats. I found one living Meyer Lurk. Uh, one was dead and still had items on it, so it's possible that it was alive at one point, but, you know, maybe the mole rats or somebody killed it. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be dead. Perhaps they got into a fight with another creature or mob, whatever you'd like to call it. But there is at least one living Meyer Lurk that I found and it's reasonably hard to beat, so be careful with that. Again, plenty of mole rats, but there's some really, really good loot in here. In fact, I got my best rifle yet I found in this duffel bag laying on the ground right here. And it's been just the best gun that I've had so far, really, besides the legendary laser musk. Also, you've got locked containers, so you can pick them and, of course, get experience points for that. And, of course, get the items that are inside. There's also plenty of aid items. Uh, word of warning, there are really good items that are hidden. So you'll see there was that stashed right behind the door that had all kinds of good stuff in it, salvage stuff, ammo, and you just want to really watch what you're doing so you don't miss anything. You'll see right here there's a vault Tech lunchbox. Nothing really major there, but right to the left of it there is another fusion core that you can use to power your power armor suit. So again, you don't want to miss that. Make sure you're checking around corners, behind doors, behind barrels. Just look around really, really carefully so that you can make sure you don't miss any items, especially those really good ones like that fusion core. Also, you'll find a ledge in here that's actually kind of a pain in the ass, but you can get on it. Just simply stand on the bricks that are in front of it 
and basically try and jump and quickly go to the left and then swing back to the right as fast as you can and you'll see right here I managed to get up there and there's some decent stuff up here there's caps there's chems and you know you want to make sure you get all the items in this place because there are some good items there's also a book on the ground it's a tattoo book it, un it permanently unlocks a face tattoo for you which I'm not sure how you use at this point I'm not sure if it's if you make a new character or, or what have you but nonetheless that is pretty cool but you know guys that's it for these three locations i hope that this helped you out i hope that you find these to be useful i know that they were very useful for me there's some good loot here especially early on thank you so much guys please please like the video subscribe if you're new to the channel comment and let me know what else you'd like to see there is a lot more to come see you guys